if you ever want to be confused, come to Ashland. Ashland, Ohio. This furniture store actually happens to be a brewery. Did not see that. And they're technically open. Technically. Oh. Ah. This is mostly a college time, college town, and there's no college, so in session right now, so imagine it's pretty dead right now. Huh. It's an old furniture building. <laughs> How are you doing? doing? Great. Oh, a little confusing finding the place. Was it? Oh, you don't have a sign. You have that big furniture sign out front. Right. We're actually just about to get uh, a big sign that goes across the whole way to set the counter and combination. Okay. Okay. It's in the works. It's in the works. Cream ale. Do you put some sugar in the cream ale? Uh -uh. I mean, maybe when we're brewing it, I guess. Well, that's usually... Right, yeah, I don't know the exact process of how... Okay. Well, I would just assume that you put, like, um, some kind of sugar that maybe the yeast can't ferment in there to kind of give it more uh, a sweeter flavor like it has. Right. Because it's not as uh, dry or hoppy as, like, a Pilsner would be. Right, yeah, yeah. Done. You put sugar in the... The brewer, it is... Basically, just the malt that carries the sweetness too. They use some malt uh, that would leave some residual sugar to get the sweetness there. So that's how they do it here. But I don't know if you can see the uh, brew thing. It's Stout, Cream Ale, Kolsch, Amber, IPA, Vanilla Porter, an IPA, Appalachian Whip Beer. So this is the Jail Hill Cream Ale. Uh, I don't know if I'll do anything else. This is called Union Town, so. Guys, they're basically deep fried pieces of steak. Yeah, I get trouble with this one because it just tastes like coffee to me. That's good. And I love coffee. Yeah. Mustard helps it too. A blonde stout on nitrogen. This I'm gonna have to. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be def definitely one. I, I always like um, I like to like visit breweries. That's how I found it. I have an app. Oh okay. And so I like to visit and anything that's unusual. Like you, you like oh everyone has like a lager. Everyone yeah. has like an amber on yeah. IPA. But anything unusual like oh right. I, I was at a brewery. They had a um, pop tart ale. <laughs> A Pop-Tart ale? They took Pop-Tarts, crumpled them up, and threw them in. What in the world? That had to be a lot of Pop-Tarts to get that. Like, for, for our, like, raspberry wheat, there's, like, 70 pounds of raspberries in there. Mm -hmm. Like, how Those steak fries were really, really good. Oh, really tasty with the mustard sauce. Amazing. That is super smooth. Oh my god, bronze stout makes it. Because it kind of got a coffee taste, but it tastes like a blonde with a coffee under thing. No kind of chocolate malt, so it tastes, it's so smooth. Because of the nitrogen. Oh my god, this is amazing. I put like this. Those two, th these two were just uh, back to back. Oh, amazing. They're doing some special stuff here. Ashland. So it's like chicken wings, but with pork, I guess. <laughs> this has got to be unusual. Hmm. Duffield, Duffield IPA, number 15. So, um, ooh, very citrusy aroma, very IPA. Kind of a 
Okay. Hmm. Kind of hits your mid tongue with the uh, hops. Not on the on the taste. The hang is just yeah, kind of not very bittery. Just kind of like a hanging hop, like right in the mid tongue. And you got a malt, kind of a semi sweet malt. Mmm. So it's juicy. It's a little meaty, but it's good. So it's thin enough that it's easy drinking not uh, hoppy enough that you're like pounded by it so it's good that place filled up quick and they've got an upstairs and there which currently someone's open Apparently they're getting to work. They're going to put up a uh, big sign. Say Ashland uh, Brewing, uh, Union Brewing Company or, or whatever it is. Oh, I'm sure I'll figure it out before I put this up. Uh, yeah, it won't be Gilbert Furniture. They'll have a sign that says it's Union whatever it is Brewing Company. But as it is, all oh, the steak fries are awesome. The pork wings are, are worthwhile if you're into it. I mean, it's a college town. And since this is non-college season, and obviously it's lower volume, uh, but it's a good place. I would highly recommend it if you're in this central uh, Ohio kind of area, Ashland. And, well, I guess the street has a little to be desired. It's kind of like more of a quirky kind of taste to it. I don't know how much they really get here, but hey, you never know. But uh, Ashland, uh, Ohio. If you uh, if you're avoiding Cleveland, this is a good place to do it. I'm a big fan of avoiding Cleveland, uh, avoiding big cities. I mean, motorcyclists and rational human beings are. Uh, Woohoo! Moving on.